Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we have a special one. Something that I never thought would ever come to the channel. This is going to be a completely brand new chapter for me and a whole new learning experience. I hope you enjoy what I'm about to show you. The Apex Predator. I cannot believe this is in front of me right now, guys. It is unbelievable. I never thought I'd see the D. Never thought I'd see it. I was dead against uh, electric mining boards for years, years. People would ask me, Mac, when you're gonna get an electric mining board? Wasn't interested. But something got the cogs turning during lockdown. I was seeing more people posting when they were going out and doing their rides. It was the weather conditions, man. I'd watch people go through rain, mud, gnarly terrain, and obviously it just opens up a whole new element of rides. And it, it just, there's no capping. It, it was just, I felt like I was left out. I was missing something and this fills the gap. That's what I was thinking because even though I own a Lacroix Lone Star, I know the Lacroix is not an off-road board and I know the limitations of what I could do on it. But this, this will fill that void of what I've been searching for recently. Now Apex are a company in the UK made up of three people that is Lee Wright, Q and Big Ben Enclosures and they are a fantastic group of people. I cannot stress how happy I am with how this has turned out. It is immense the amount of craftsmanship and intelligence and you can see they have really locked heads, sat there, thought about everything. So thank you Apex for letting me be a part of your venture into the electric mounting board scene. I firstly want to say a massive thank you to Q because not only when these got shipped out to other riders, me being in South Wales, um, there was a bit of an issue on delivery and Q actually hand delivered this to my front door. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about the Apex Predator. Everything you see here is fully loaded with Apex designs that they've created in their shred quarters of madness. As you can see, the ESC case, it looks absolutely stunning. Sleek, smooth, small, it just looks amazing. Very, very stealthy design, I should say. We go on to the bindings. The bindings, which is something that I'm very nervous about being a new start to the electric mounting board scene. They hooked me up with the MBS F5 bindings which apparently everyone raves about with the comfort, the locking in, the ratchet, the adjustments. It just seems to be the one from what everyone is seeing. So I can't kind of fault them for that. Now we're gonna move on to the battery. The battery is 12S 6P 21700 and this is the Apex NGB battery, next generation battery, which again, thank you very much. Moving on to the wheels, the tyres, again these are Apex shit slingers, 8 inch, just the right tyre for that off-road madness that Apex have been sending and other riders. Now these are mad because apparently certain riders are getting up to a thousand miles on these tyres. 
So, good going Apex, to have something that's so robust and will last a while. Moving on as well, they have put moon drives on this bad boy. Now this is my first time using gear drives on an electric skateboard. So to have it on a mountain board is a very new experience and I'm very, very excited to how these perform. The motors, as you can see, they have the apex, beautiful engraving, laser engraving, I believe. And it just looks so professional, so clean again, and with that stealthy look. So the motors are 6374, 190 kV battle hardened, brushless eight runners motors. That's 3,500 watts of power. Power. In this little number, guys, is the BKB Zenith. I think that's how you pronounce it. It sounds like a Final Fantasy boss. Now guys, this did shock me when this got delivered. Um, the attention to detail is absolutely next level. It's something as simple as this. And this is the Apex Predator shock pads. So with this shock pad guys, it is so clean again on the cable management side of things. As you can see from the ESC, the cables run underneath the shock pad and into the battery enclosure. This is such a, a clean design. I cannot fault them, and it's not only just that again, guys. The attention to detail to have shock pads. So the Apex Ball Bar, as we can see by here, the Apex Ball Bar is made from premium 60 61 T6 aluminium with a beautiful carbon fibre tube. So again, you can see how clever they're doing with like keeping things very sleek with the design, stealthy, blackout, but keeping it light. But even with this ball bar, it just makes things easier just to drag the electric mountain board. And, and it's just convenience, guys. Plus, you don't want to batter yourself as well and get dings on the front of your board. It just makes sense. It just makes sense for me to have a ball bat. And plus, in the near future, cut shred lights on it as well. And happy days. This is the one, guys. This is probably Apex's biggest invention, I believe, to date. This is coming from me personally. Everyone is raved raved on about this, the hype is fucking real, is the Apex Air Trucks. Do you know what guys? I'm not going to talk about the Apex Air Trucks right now, but what I am going to do, I'm going to link Q's mega thread about the Apex Airs and just eat deep dives so much about these trucks. It is unreal how different these trucks are. Now they're not double kingpin trucks. They're not guys. They're, they are classing it as a PKP truck. So what does PKP mean? Parallel kingpin trucks. So with the Apex Airs comes the Riptide crank bushings. Now these are amazing because you've got the option guys of just mixing and matching different duros to how you want to ride. You can have it extra carby so you can turn, you can have the stability for the off-road, you can have it super hard for whatever you need. It, the the Riptide have got you covered and it is just amazing to see. And what we've all been waiting for guys is the collaboration with Hero Bro, this deck, very, very sleek with the amazing Apex Predator logo. This is my first impressions, guys. This is my journey into the electric mountain board world. 
and to be honest with you, I'm excited but I am also very nervous because of the binding situation of being locked in on the board but I'm going to have to overcome my fear and get used to this and just take things easy. It's not like I'm going to be backflipping on the first day guys, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I'm stoked, I'm happy guys and what can I say? Thank you very much guys for sticking around and watching my videos. It is much appreciated. We are so close at the moment to get into that 1,000 subscribers. I am currently at 800 at the time of making this video and it honestly means so much. So thank you so much for the support and I will see you in the next one. Peace! Fucking Apex Predator. Woo!